Hello my friends, how you doing? This is another quick tip for parents and students and anyone who is in a Google Classroom. So I've zoomed in here, I'm assuming you know how to get to classroom.google.com and, and when you're in there, you get all your Google classes. And so as we look at the beginning of a year, you're trying to get organized and you're not the owner or creator. So um, you're in third grade, you're getting ready to enter fourth grade and your teacher has not archived the class from last year. And because the person hasn't archived the class, they've kept it open and live, it still remains here among all your classes. And that can just create some clutter. It can just create some, some ways in which it, it can be hard to navigate. So uh, one of the easy ways is you could always just take these and drag them down and put them towards the end. But if you want to remove the class because you no longer need it, it's a, it's a, a PD that you're done with, it's a, it's a, it's a teacher or a, a class that you no longer need as a student, you can unenroll from the course. And so what you do here, I'm just going to open this up here so you can see here a little bit better. You're going to go to the class that you don't want to be part of. So I have this test class here. I can go here. I can choose to unenroll. And when you choose this option, you're going to get this option right here that you'll be removed from this class and that all your items will remain in Google Drive. So you would click this unenroll and it's going to disappear. It's going to be gone, which is um, the way to get rid of that. So um, I'm not going to click this for the sake of my video. But that's how you get rid of it. Now keep in mind that anything that you created in your Google Drive in that class has all been saved. So all your classwork, all your documents, all your files, you still have. It's just that the class is removed from your classroom.google.com page. And if you ever need to go back into it, you can just type in the, the join code again if the teacher needs that or you're going to join that course and you can pop right back in. So quick little tip on how to unenroll from a course if you need it to be gone from your classroom page for the clutter. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.